Welcome to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. I like what they've done with the names. If we go by the order they were released in, we have Wolfenstein the New Order, Wolfenstein the Old Blood, and then Wolfenstein the New Colossus. So we have New, Old, New. I'm going into this mostly fresh. I have seen maybe 20 or 30 minutes of the beginning of this game when I watched a little bit of Adam Koble's playthrough, and then I stopped at that point because I knew I wanted to play it myself and save the rest of it for a surprise. And I've also played it for, I guess, apparently about nine minutes, I think less than that, just watching some of the opening cutscenes just to test some recording stuff. So coming into this mostly fresh. And also, before I start, I just want to warn you, based on what little I've seen, um, content warning for uh, domestic abuse, racism, fat phobia, um, a lot of violence and stuff, of course. A whole bunch of really bad stuff. I'm pretty sure the beginning of this game is just like a concentrated injection of misery. Uh, yeah. Let's get going. So let's start a new save game over that one. For some reason, there's a lot more difficulties for the new Colossus. I think I played I Am Death Incarnate before in the past two games. However, I feel like it might actually be a higher difficulty now, and it just has a similar name. Because if you look at the description down in the bottom left, Bring a Mons is medium difficulty setting for the experienced gamer. So it sounds like this is basically normal. And then this is hard. And then this is very hard. And then this is ultra hard. And this one, Mein Lieben, which I guess you have to unlock, I think is you have one life the entire game. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go ultra hard and we'll see how it goes. Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice for me. I'm going to go with the option that I chose in my playthrough. Anya, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way. William. Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? Oh, gosh, his intestines are showing. Hold him in. Put your hands there. Oh, that's not good. Get him in the helicopter. Come on. Blessing. To have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Abate, we are out. Fire! Yes, madam! Continue He's bleeding out! Go faster! Next us! And the great warmth washing over me. Tao. I think the sky's on fire. Don't die. Caroline is dying! Press. He's turning blue! Bombate, we'll need a gurney and a hangar bay. ETA 96. Death at the gates again. Howling my name. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. How many of you have been there? Shake my land, he called off. Let me show you something, Billy. My father told me if I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. <laughs> oh, shit. Must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about the string. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Mother, am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? 
You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no. Mother. I'm going to hell. Pull, pull, Von Dante. Well, uh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines out. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay with us, Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, bring me anyone for to give blood. Now! Everyone, we need blood donors right now. You listening? Line up here by the dick bay. Double time. It's Martin, yeah. First, more. I need light. Stay down, keep quiet. He's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way. He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <coughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Shut down the business when my father told you to. We are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or shut it for you. <laughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured your father would be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away. <laughs> You are great bitch! Hiding in the closet. Make me sick to look at you. You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. The Kreisau Circle is rising. I will need you by my side when we make our move. Can you feel the kicking? Bessie, dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a... Are they doing what I think they're doing? This is... Oh my god. Gonna make make little Blaskowitz to watch his father kill the dog. If they really do that, that's so much it's almost comical. Good girl, you ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions, and sometimes 
you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! You are so feeble, just like your mother. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. I just want to talk about that beginning before I go any further. Uh, yeah, so that beginning, and we're not even really through the all of the misery of the beginning, by the way, if what I remember of the first 20 or 30 minutes is is accurate. There's even more misery to come, but just the cutscenes in the beginning are utterly miserable, and also they just don't work for me at all. I mean things that happen are absolutely horrible, but it's hard for that to really have a lot of resonance with me because it just comes across as trying way too hard. Even the dog? The father's abusive and abuses everybody in the family, including the dog, and then forces you to watch him kill the dog, tries to force you to kill the dog, and then doesn't, and then kills... I mean, it's just, the whole thing comes across as just ridiculous. It's too much. It doesn't work for me at all, so all the beginning is is just very, very unpleasant and doesn't do what it's trying to accomplish. I get that they're trying to make Wolfenstein fairly serious. They're trying to put a lot of humanity into it, and they did a pretty damn good job of that in the New Order, but this beginning for the New Colossus, that humanity part doesn't work for me at all. But also, Something that I did like about the beginning, though, is how they linked together his, uh, Blaskowitz's kind of feverish, almost dying thoughts were linked with memories from the present and also from the past. For example, um, he was remembering the time he, uh, his mother was taking care of him and said, what do you want, the porridge or the soup, I think it was? Like, make your choice. Do you want the porridge or the soup? Make your choice. And then the memory that Blaskowitz flashed to was, make your choice. Wyatt or Fergus, who do you save? Right, so like those memories triggering other memories. I thought that was pretty cool. That was the theme for the beginning is that, uh, that like, you could see the logical thread connecting the different memories that were coming to, to mind for Blaskowitz. That was pretty nice. Okay. G to activate hint. Uh, sure. Go over there. Yeah, I figured. Okay, this is gonna be... This is gonna be very strange to move around like this. It's you. Take this. They're looking for you. Oh shit! Here they come. My movement is is so different from how it normally is, and much slower, and also my perspective is so much lower. I can still actually... Funnily enough, I can still strafe, just very slowly. Hedgehog kills, one into 25. You ain't getting it back. 
collected a concept. What's that? Oh, concept art. Right. That must be the young Blaskowitz's uh, room. Yeah. I think I killed him. Come on. This game is damn good looking. Yes, yeah, so if you remember, this is the one that I talked about. I was curious how it would look because this one has much higher system requirements than the first two did. Than the New Order and the Old Blood. Yeah, it's definitely had a graphical upgrade. I fell for it too. Whoa! The hell? Stop! Vaskovich! Freeze! Do not move a muscle until I say it's okay, alright? Alright? Don't even pass wind! Microwaves will turn you into mush. You don't want to be mush. Shift should do you. Wait. Wait. Okay, now! Come to me! Be careful, the floor is very... Quick, 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 quick! Oh, there we go! One, two, one, two three... <laughs> I'll be Now, Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake, not so happy Anya, to see you out of bed. where is she? Last time I saw her, she was, uh, she was with Caroline, defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, Seth. Ingrid. You know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You, 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 you might have difficulties to, to, to urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau Ingrid. She's been hunting for you. She's been... Moving heaven and earth, and today she found you. The Nazis breached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the others. I have to go. No. No, Hackman is them Chinese. I told you no. Said, help me find the sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. Now, there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but... I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map for to show you where the traps are. Uh, put them to good use for the fascist. <laughs> uh, okay, be careful. <laughs> Exploding background Nazi comedy. Try not to get killed if you don't mind. Off you go. See, like tonally this is this is working now. This is way better than the beginning. Just, you know, um, uh, what's his name? Set. Set just <laughs> just devised on this U-boat a uh, makeshift microwave exploder thing that just makes Nazis explode when they walk into it. And Nazis are just exploding in the background while they talk to me. Like, that's just hilarious. That's the tone that works, and I expect, you know, a bit ridiculous. That works a lot better. You're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. I also like how my max health is 50. Anything above that is overcharging instead of the normal 100 being the max to represent my uh, my weakened state.
Ooh, crap. Yeah, uh, this difficulty setting. I was taking a lot of damage per hit. You're hunting me. Got that backwards, lady. I'm hunting you. Oh, that works. Of course, that does mean I'm not going to want to go through here now. Maybe I can make him come to me. No one taking the bait? Right. I just went downstairs in a wheelchair. Keep everyone alive till I get there. World condemns murder of General Strauss. Berlin, 25th of February, 1961. During a televised broadcast yesterday, transmitted worldwide, the beloved Fuhrer addressed the death of the great General Wilhelm Strauss following a terrorist attack at his research center on the Baltic coast last week. General Strauss was not just known for his humanitarian <laughs> humanitarian work and scientific discoveries which helped the glorious Reich in his efforts to liberate the world. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Humanitarian work of Wilhelm Strauss. Yes, what a great person. gonna do what I think I am? Am I rolling onto this? Oh wow. Oh wow, that is so dangerous. Also, that is so badass. Jesus. Hmm. Maybe... Wait, what does that say? Manual save? You can save the game manually at any time for the pause menu? Whoa, that's new. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should continue on this difficulty. It might be extra hard at the beginning just because I'm in such a weakened state. So, I'll stick with it for now. Yeah, that save thing is interesting. It doesn't show in the uh, keybind menu, but I can press F5 to do a quick save. I wonder if that... It probably doesn't allow you to save during combat. <laughs> I'm guessing? If it does, that'd be weird. It's so cool that you have to get creative about how you move through the space. And I love that Blaskowitz just gives such little of a fuck that even after being in bed for months and being very weakened... ...that they would just... ...wheelchair themselves onto pipes and heavy machinery and they just don't even care. Soldat Oscar's note. Commandant Fisher, I know you are busy, but I think we need to have an emergency fallback plan should a terrorist attack happen. I'm sure you've seen the reports, read the articles, seen the speech General Strauss gave the other week. 
that insane American is wreaking havoc wherever he goes. What happens if he comes here? Is there somewhere on the ship we could take refuge? I think we must look into this. Yes, look into it. This game really is obscenely good looking. Jesus. Can I shoot that? Ah. Interesting. I don't have to use them. Oh shit. Let's not <laughs> let's not go that way. God, I desperately need health and stuff. Ooh. Who's this Terror Billy? <laughs> Terror Billy. some health. <laughs> oh! Grenades! You have to throw grenades. Yep, that's how they work. <laughs> I thought they worked in the last game, too.
Well, we're not going through there. Star Spangled Daily. Oh wow, Dotsy symbol over the American flag. American territories prosper under new regime. Washington, 12th of June, 1961. The Ministry of Regional Welfare of the American Territories of the Greater Reich released a compilation of independent reports today investigating the state of the American territories after being liberated from the former corrupt regime and the new American order was introduced. The independent reports all unanimously reveal that the American people have never been so prosperous in the entire history of the continent. They also cited Der Bastrofer, the bomb that brought peace to the American territories, was a singular factor in waking people up. This simply reinforces what we've always believed, that the American people have been held captive by a clique of corrupt elites who were never interested in their welfare, said the director of the Institute, Ludwig Huber. Unlike the beloved Fuhrer, who has shown with the right leadership, people will prosper. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Belt reversed. Up we go. says we're having twins. <laughs> Not now, Kinderlach. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuzerei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. Oh, hold on, William. Eine Klinik für fettsüchtige Kopst. Generalstochter! 
Was für eine Schande. Los, warte ja halten. Das ist nicht mal eine Backfalle wert. Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Abwasch nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, war ihn, Männer. Ich lock ihn raus. Megafon. Trapped our vessel, Anjka. What can we do? You ride it. We'll have to somehow release our U boat once you're up there. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. <laughs> you going to run us over with your little wheelchair? Well, this is familiar, isn't it? Runter mit der Rüstung! What a funny sight! The mastermind crawling around in her own filth. Oh, Maskovich, you're awake. What's left of me? I came for you. How are you holding up, Caroline? know how she found us. I fucked up somehow. She tracked us down. I fucked everything up. You think your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich? Sie den auf den Krüppel. Let me tell you. You're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. Look, everybody. <laughs> is, is, is this how a hero looks like? A crippled wretch of a man being in a tomb! <laughs> Everyone will see what a useless joke you are. Los, los. Ah, thank you. Oh, Sie sind am Kampf. Bow your head. Don't be silly. The resistance does not bow. Mutter! Sigun! Sei still! Ich arbeite! Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber du hast gesagt, dass du sie hast... hast gesagt! Du machst deine Leibesübung und du verzichtest auf den Zucker! Was haben meine Männer in deinem Zimmer gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in dein Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. Nimm. Nimm! Mach schon. Befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Leg dich ab! Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen. Ugh. <laughs> 
mit Perversion und verräterischen Worten vollschmieren. Das kannst du. Einige davon waren sogar auf Englisch. Seite für Seite ergießt sich dein widerwärtiger Geist. Wenn du aufgehst wie eine dicke, fette Seekuh. Verstehst du nicht, in was für eine Lage du mich bringst? Ich bin verpflichtet, das zu melden. Du hattest kein Recht, es zu lesen. Caroline Becker, Leader of the Chrysler Circle. The criminal mastermind. Never give up, Glasgow Rich. Never give in to these people. I think not. I think you're just another monster. Okay, um, I think this is a pretty natural stopping off point. I think this is where I stopped watching when I was watching Adam Coble's playthrough. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> kind of a return of the very beginning cutscenes, where it's like, here's a bunch of concentrated, just incredibly unpleasant nastiness. Just concentrate, I'm just gonna shove it all in your face. Just here it is. Have fun with that. I... It just doesn't work for me i i think i sort of get what they're trying to do um like most of the things that most of the incredibly nasty things that are happening are not like the game actually the it's not like the game being nasty i mean it is but it's not like the writers being nasty it's more like the writers making the bad people the nazis nasty and you're supposed to hate them right like you know uh like uh, frau angle is obviously completely ableist like oh look at this uh, cripple etc etc pissing in a tube and look at this fat ass etc etc and they're doing that not to say that that's what they actually believe like the game or the writers they're doing that to say these people are fucking or this person rather is a fucking asshole these Nazis are assholes they're pieces of shit look how they treat people and then these same people that are being uh, maligned and insulted are gonna be the ones to rise up and kick your ass I get that that's what they're trying to do but nonetheless 
it's just incredibly unpleasant. And it's not that this game has to be super pleasant. I get that it's not like a happy fun land. It's a land of Nazis and nastiness, but it's also a shooter and it's a bit ridiculous. It just doesn't work. I get what they're trying to do, but it just comes across as incredibly just <laughs> very unnecessarily unpleasant and tonally does not work for me at all. <sighs> okay, I think I've gotten that out of my system. I hope this is the end of concentrated nastiness injected directly into my veins. Hopefully it gets a bit better from here on out because aside from the cutscene stuff that they've been doing, when I'm actually getting to play the game, it's been really good so far. All right, yeah. Let's hope it's all up from here on out. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.